Hi, everyone. A deadly tornado that wreaked havoc in the small city of Greenfield, Iowa, left four people dead and nearly three dozen injured, officials said, while a fifth person was killed elsewhere. The twister that tore through the city on Tuesday was rated at least an EF3 by the National Weather Service and was so destructive that it took authorities more than a day to account for the area's residents. It's believed that the number of people injured is likely higher. The Iowa Department of Public Safety said, the fifth person was killed about 25 miles, 40 kilometers, from Greenfield when her car was blown off the road in a tornado. According to the Adams County Sheriff's Office, Monica Zamarone, 46, died in the crash Tuesday afternoon, officials said. Officials haven't yet released the names of the other victims. The severe weather turned south Wednesday. In Texas, officials issued an emergency declaration in Temple, a city of more than 90,000 people north of Austin. After powerful storms ripped through the area, thousands of residents lost power. Schools canceled classes for Thursday, and nearby Fort Cavazos reported significant debris blocking traffic at the Army installation. In Iowa, the Greenfield tornado obliterated homes, splintered trees, and crumpled cars in the town of 2000, about 55 miles southwest of Des Moines. The twister also crumpled massive power-producing wind turbines several miles outside the city. Greenfield resident Kimberly Ergish and her husband dug through the debris field Wednesday that used to be their home, looking for family photos and other salvageable items. There wasn't much left, she acknowledged. The reality of having her house destroyed in seconds hasn't really set in, she said. If it weren't for all the bumps and bruises and the achy bones, I would think that it didn't happen, Ergish said. The deadly twister was spawned during a historic tornado season in the U.S., at a time when climate change is heightening the severity of storms around the world. April had the second highest number of tornadoes on record in the country. Through Tuesday, 859 tornadoes had been confirmed this year, 27% more than the U.S. sees on average, according to NOAA's Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Iowa has so far recorded the most, with 81 confirmed twisters. On Tuesday alone, the National Weather Service said it received 23 tornado reports, with 21 in Iowa. Tuesday's storms also pummeled parts of Illinois and Wisconsin, knocking out power to tens of thousands of customers in the two states. The National Weather Service said initial surveys indicated at least an EF3 tornado in Greenfield, but additional damage assessment could lead to a more powerful ranking. The tornado appeared to have been on the ground for more than 40 miles. AccuWeather Chief Meteorologist John Porter said, A satellite photo taken by a Black Sky Technology shows where the twister gouged a nearly straight path of destruction through the town, just south of Greenfield Center Square. Debris was lifted thousands of feet in the air and ended up falling to the ground several counties away from Greenfield. That's evidence of just how intense and deadly this tornado was, Porter said. People as far as 100 miles, 160 kilometers, Away from Greenfield posted photos on Facebook of ripped family photos, yearbook pages, and other items that were lifted into the sky by the tornado. About 90 miles away, in Ames, Iowa, Nicole Banner found a yellowed page declaring, This book is the property of the Greenfield Community School District, stuck to her garage door like a post-it note after the storm passed. We just couldn't believe it had traveled that far, she said. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said FEMA's administrator would be in Iowa Thursday and that the White House was in touch with state and local officials. She said they were praying for those who tragically lost their lives and wished those injured a speedy recovery.